Hey guys, it's Ex Machina here again with another breakdown video from my Sunshine Suicides album. The track that we're going to be checking out today is called Shattered Worlds. And this is actually uh, going to be one of the more simple tracks. I say more simple, but they're really all the same. Um, they just have a few different elements added here or there just for texture. Uh, but we'll go ahead and get into it right away. So we have the kick and bass here. Typically, I uh, use the same kick and bass. We did the same here as well. I'll go ahead and expand these just so you can hear it. Now with the kick, there's like a, an added bit of hollowness to it. This just kind of gives the rest of the track a transient. So if we hear it. It's really not prominent in the uh, final master. Uh, but when we just like solo some of the stuff, it's a lot more prominent. But the way that the uh, the mastering chain is working, it really could barely hear that. But um, it just adds a bit of texture there. Now, besides the kick and bass, we have the lead, which is the bulk of everything. We'll go ahead and play it from the beginning. We have the reverse guitar over here, which leads it in. You can hear the signature sounds in the background as well. Okay, so we have the roads, and then we also have the synth, the sine wave synth, and we also have the guitar playing as well. Okay, and we're not using any strings here. We can remove that track, but that pretty much sums up all of the lead. So if we just solo all of this together um, on just this section right here. So the most important thing is you never want any instrument to step on another instrument's toes. So you'll want to leave some space typically. Uh, so like, for example, like over here, we can solo this. It's almost the same. You can hear that. You know, when you do layers like that, it actually makes everything sound a lot cleaner versus having like two separate melodies playing or two different um, things playing on two separate tracks. You want to make everything live in the same general area of the track. So this is the easiest way. It's having the same melody, but having slight variations for each synth. Now moving on to the snare here, we have the Supermassive plugin again. Um, and then we are obviously changing, let's just pull all of them up so you can see what we're doing here. So we have three separate automation curves going on uh, for the snare. <laughs> Again, that gives it just a variation between the snare hits. And then we do the same thing with the hi-hats here. As you can see, I have two separate hi-hats uh, going. Uh, this one actually does not have super massive, it seems, on it. Uh, this might be just uh, like a basic hat. Yeah. Yeah, so this is like an open hat and this is the closed hat down here. And on the open hat is what we're actually using the uh, Supermassive plugin on. Okay, so now moving on, we have the vocals here, which also carries the track. Using analog collapse again, which is going to allow it to ring out throughout the track, make it sound all pretty and stuff. And then we have the signature sounds again, which is my favorite part. So the signature sounds are tree tone, as you can see here. And then we use uh, frequency echo plugins to essentially get this awesome, crazy chirp sound. And I just call this group X or X Machina just because it's like I use it on every track. Um, so anytime you hear this, just know. It's your boy, or it's that dark glitch lo-fi. 
dark lo-fi glitch I haven't decided but <laughs> but yeah that's what it is and then moving on we have the crash um obviously for like a reverse crash for the riser and then we have the actual crash i can read this here okay and then just to top it all off we have the top effects here the top effects is going to be your vinyl crackle and then i also have like this bird chirp sound so this is the glitchy vinyl sound that I have, plus the glitchy birds. And then together. Textures. Everybody loves textures. And that's it, guys. I appreciate you guys for checking out this breakdown video. We'll see you in the next.